So let's discuss the copyright and the coffee left licenses that we need to find out the open education resources from the internet. So first have a few points from the Copyright Act which says the right to reproduce your work. It means your work you can reproduce the work. To prepare the derivatives of the work you can prepare as many as derivative you can take anything out of from the earlier pu published work to distribute the copies to perform the work say for example you have some literary work or paintings you can perform that work and to display the work publicly as defined by the one convention the moral rights of an author are as follows the right to claim authorship of the work say for example it's if it is your work you can claim it the right to object to any distortion mutilation or modification of the work the right to object to any derogatory action that may damage the author's honor or reputation so the first act the copyright act was in 1914 followed by the copyright act 1957 and few of the amendment was made in 2012 as well so what are the terms of copyright in india depends on nature of the work or the owner of the copyright and whether the work has been published most works you have the 60 years plus the lifetime of the authors it means if you have written a content or you find some content from the internet whoever owned that content the lifetime of the author and plus 60 year will be the copyright will be present and same will be the cinema autographic films sound recordings photographs etc now let's discuss the copy left licenses copyright says all rights reserves but for a layman copy left says few rights reserves under certain conditions and what are these conditions the first is the attribution it means author must be acknowledged on all copies and adaptation of the work including a direct link to the original version of the work what it saying it's saying that if i am releasing an content on the internet and you are downloading that content you have to acknowledge the original author for using that content and you have to provide a direct link with that image the second condition may be no derivative it means the work can only be distributed in its original form that is no adaptation or translation of the work can be made the third condition may be share alike in this the work can be modified and adapted what the entire resulting work including new material added by the adapter must be distributed under the same share alike license what does it mean it means that if i have released some content on the internet say for example an image and you want to use that image under share alike license then you can change you can make modification you can use that image in any way where you want what whatever will be the final outcome the final video or the final presentation or the final image has to be released under the same license the fourth condition may be non commercial what this non commercial is saying it means you can use my content yet that you have taken from the internet what you cannot monetize that content so while compiling all these four conditions we have six type of licenses that we call the creative commons license and these are the same license that we talking about the open content or open education resources or moocs massive open online courses so first license is ccby which is saying that you can download the content and if for example the content is available under cc by license which is simply saying you can download the content you can make edit you can sell you can non sell whatever you want what you have to give the attribution to the original authors by is the attribution and cc is the creative common the second license which says cc by nc which is saying that you can use that content you can modify you can translate what you can never sell the final outcome of the content or the product the third license is non commercial non derivative which saying that you can neither derive anything out of it 
and nor you can sell the content and the final product. You have to use it as such. You cannot translate the content by using from the internet. The fourth license is CC BY and CSA, which is saying that neither you can sell it commercially, but whatever will be the final outcome, you have to release it under the similar license. The fifth license is non derivative, simply saying that you cannot translate, you can use this content from the internet, but you cannot translate and you cannot drive anything out of it. And the last license is share alike license, which is CC BY SA, and which means you can download the content, you can edit the content, you can share the content, you can reshare the content, even you can monetize the content. But whatever will be the final outcome, you have to release under the similar CC BY license. So, most of our open educational resources are came under share alike license. So, there is a chance of improving after every addition. Say for example, there is one video is available on um, economics and you use that video, but you find out that the content which is, is uh, 3 years back the content was written and there is no one is mentioning about the GST. So, you can use that video, edit that video, edit with some GST content and release under the same license. So, the previous version of the video is being improved without additionally done by the original author of the content. Now, let us discuss the openness of the content. Say for example, you are searching some content from the internet and you want to know which license is more open so that it can be exploited more beautifully. So, if we see from the, uh, from the below, we have the uh, copyright licenses and the copyright says all right reserves, which is basically least open. You can use the content, but with proper permission of the creator of the content. Then we have share type licenses, which you can use the content, but only to share. We have two type of licenses, which includes the non-derivative and non-commercial non-derivative. Then we have remix type of licenses, where you can edit the content, you can put on the new content, you can translate the content and you can share the content. And finally, we have the license which you can commercially exploit the content and these includes the share alike lenses and simply BY and finally, we have the public domain. Public domain basically is not the license, but it says no known restrictions and internet is full of public domain content that you can use without the proper permission of any of the creator who have upload the content. So, for a layman, we have the copyright which says all right reserves, we have the copyleft which says few rights reserves that is called the creative commons license and then there is a public domain which says no known restrictions. You, if you want to use the content, you can use.